Hi, everybody! Welcome back to my English class. Now you are with me, Teacher Sai Mai from TSL School. The topic that I would like to talk about today is about something that you guys are close to because you do it every day. The topic is out and about. Out and about means going out and doing activities. We are going to talk about activities that you do each day and useful expressions when you would like to make an appointment. Well, are you ready? If you are, let's check it out. Now there are unfinished 10 sentences about daily activities, which are waiting for you to match them with the rest on your right. But before we start, let's take a look at the word do and make. Do you know what's the difference? We use do for actions, obligations, and repetitive tasks. For instance, do laundry, do homework, or do exercise. Make, we use it for creating or producing something. And make usually refers to the result. For example, I will going to make breakfast. The result is porridge. Okay, now let's match these sentences. Number one. You do the dishes. After you eat, C. Do the dishes means washing dishes. Number two, you do the laundry. When your clothes are dirty, G. Do laundry in this term means washing clothes. Number three, you drop off your younger brother or sister at the school in the morning, A. Number four, you go grocery shopping when you have no food in the house. I. Number five, you make a reservation for a dinner at the restaurant. B. Number six, you make a doctor's appointment when you feel sick. F. Our appointment means a formal arrangement to meet or visit somebody at a particular time. Number seven, you make dinner in the evening. E, make dinner means cooking dinner. Number eight, you pick up your younger brother or sister after school. J. Number nine, you sweep the floors. D. To remove dust and dirt. And last one, number ten. You vacuum. The rats. H. To remove dust and dirt. Next, if you would like to make an appointment, you need these expressions to make your conversation smooth. Don't be panicked just yet. Let me explain. To make it easier to understand, there are two parts when you make an appointment. The first part is explaining the reasons why you're calling, and the second part is scheduling the time. Let's say you want to make a dentist appointment because you've got toothache. You go to the dentist, and when they pick up your call, you can tell them that I would like to make an appointment, or I'm calling to make an appointment with the dentist. Well, we already finished part one. Next part two: scheduling the time. Then. They will ask about your convenient time. They may ask, "Can you come at 2 p.m.? Could we meet at 2 p.m.? Or how is tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Depending on their available time. If you are okay with their time offering, you can reply that that's perfect, that works for me. But if not, you can say that, no, that time or that day doesn't work for me. And then you can ask them back if they're okay with your available time by asking, "How is 4 or 5 p.m.?" Next, I would like you to listen to the conversation between Martina and Min. One of them would like to make an appointment about studying course. Let's listen and answer questions. Hello, ISS Language Center. This is Martina. Yeah, hi. I'm in a TOEFL class that starts next week. I'd like to make an appointment to see the student counselor first. Sure, I can help you with that. Let's see. Can you come in tomorrow at 10:30? No, that time isn't good for me. Do you have anything later in the day? 
Let me check. Okay, how's 415? That's perfect. Great. Now I just need to get your name. It's Min Nguyen. Could you spell your last name for me, please? Sure. It's N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E there are two questions here. The first one is, why is Min calling the language sender? Two, when is he planning to go there? Can you answer the first question? Very good. To answer the first question, you can refer to the first part of making an appointment by using I'm calling to or I would like to. And then follow with your reason for making a phone call. From this conversation, Min is calling to make an appointment to see the student's counselor since his TOEFL class starts next week. What about question number two? Do you know when he's planning to go there? Is it 10.30 or 4.15? Correct, 4.15. Because Marina asked Min if he's available at 10.30, but he declines and says, no, that time isn't good for me. Then Marina asks again with 4.15, and Min says, that's perfect. All right, before we finish our class today, let's practice your listening skill. I have four different phone calls for you to listen. And what I would like you to do is that I want you to circle the correct words to complete each sentence. Well, are you ready? Let's try. Conversation 1. Good afternoon, and thank you for calling Aziza. This is David speaking. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I have a dinner reservation for this evening at 8. Your last name, please? It's Mitchell, Elaine Mitchell. Yes, Ms. Mitchell. Here you are. You have a reservation for six people tonight at 8 o'clock. Right. I'm calling because we'd like to come in a little earlier. Is that possible? Conversation 2. Hello, Bluebird Cleaners. Yeah, hi. I dropped off some pants on Monday to be dry cleaned, but I've lost my ticket. Could you tell me when will they be ready? Your name, please? Jose Martino. Just a moment, Mr. Martino. Hello? Yeah, they're ready today. Come by any time. Conversation 3 Good morning, Dr. Chu's office. This is Sarah. Uh, yeah, good morning. I'm calling to make an appointment to see the dentist. Okay, um, have you seen Dr. Chu before? Yes, I have. My name's Leo Kwan. K-W-A-N. Thanks. Okay, Leo. Let's see what Dr. Chu has open. Can you come in tomorrow at 10? Conversation 4. Hello? Hi, B. Oh, hi, Mona. What's up? Are you driving to school this morning? Yeah. Do you need a ride? Yeah, but not to class. I have a doctor's appointment near school. Could you drop me off there? The office is near school. Okay, let's check our answers. Number one, the woman is calling to change a restaurant reservation. The reason that it is restaurant because the lady says dinner. So we know that this situation must be about restaurant, not hotel. However, she says that she would like to come earlier than the reservation time that she made. Therefore, it means that she would like to change a restaurant reservation. Next, number two. The man wants to pick up his pants at the dry cleaner. First, the man says 
he drops off his pants. Now we know that it's about pants, not shirts. And he lost his ticket and wants to know the details. It's certain that in that ticket, it will tell you about when you can pick up. Plus, you hear two words from the lady, which are ready today and come by anytime, which means that his pants are ready to be picked up. Number three, the man is calling to make a dentist appointment. The reason that we use make is that the guy says in the first part clearly that I would like to make an appointment, not change. Next word is dentist because after that, the guy says to make an appointment to see the dentist. And last one, number four, the girl needs a ride to the doctor's office. When B asks Mona if she wants a ride to school, she says yes, but not to class. I have a doctor's appointment near school. Therefore, it's not school for sure, but the doctor's office. All right, guys, this is what we've learned today. First is daily activities that you do every day. Second is useful expressions when you would like to make an appointment. And the last one is listening practice. I hope you guys enjoy the class and I hope that what we've learned today can help you in the future. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions I would like to ask, feel free to leave your comments below. And if you're waiting for more videos from TSL School, don't forget to subscribe our channel then. And since it's already rainy season, please take care and drive safely. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.